Hello guys, welcome back. This is your boy Gadam Slink. I hope so on a day okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. And if you are a new viewer, please try as much as possible to subscribe. And if you are a old viewer, my guys, welcome back again. I hope your day was fine. And please try as much as possible to click on the bell notification to get updates or join the telegram to get updates at Adam Slink Media Channel on Telegram. So I think I may have discovered the reason why South Africa dislikes on Nigeria or dislike Nigeria. I may have discovered the reason, guys. And firstly, I want to play you a video of one South Africa guy jokingly apologizing to Nigeria. And I think that video might be misinterpreted. So I believe, okay, let me just play it first before I start making other statements see i know south africans are very very shy to do this but i'm going to do it for them nigerians i am on my knees i am begging you people to stop this this is getting out of hand i know you guys are angry at south africans but now you guys have skyrocketed this violence to another level somebody has to make you people stop I am Grand Zilan, your violence ambassador, the person you guys trusted to bring violence on others. But please, I am begging you people, Nigerians, please, it is time to stop. You guys have damaged a lot of businesses back in South Africa. So many businesses have closed their apps. Please, Nigerians, this is getting out of hands. Please, I am on my knees and I am begging you people, the giant of Africa, to stop this violence on South Africans. Please, Nigerians, I am begging you. You guys sat alone. They brought the violence to you people. And you guys have done it. Yes, we have laughed. And it was funny. But now it is no longer funny. You are destroying people's businesses. They destroyed one man. You guys have already destroyed millions. Please, I am begging you people. My Nigeria people. This is Grandland speaking. This is my new page. They read Grandland. Please follow me. But my Nigerian people, I am begging you people. This is Grandland speaking. Well, uh, of course, guys, uh, you know, that is uh, an apology and also a comedy at the same time. I understand where it's coming from, mm? but people will misinterpret it. When he said Nigerians have destroyed so many businesses, another layman who don't really, really understand what this guy is saying might just think that, oh, Nigeria are doing it again. My guy, you would have started this video by saying, please, Nigeria, we apologize for destroying your businesses as first before you guys coming, now coming to us to destroy our businesses. You know that online uh, boat issues now, that's exactly what he is talking about. So I think he would have apologized first, then make it clear about what happened before say Nigeria destroying many businesses because automatically this uh, uh, South Africa Magogo who do not really, really understand the, the essence of this uh, video we automatically just think that Nigerians are destroying businesses. Please, eh? We know you are just making a video for joke, but please, try as much as possible to be informative so that you know will turn something else. There's a Nigerian based in Cape Town. Mm. He owns 800 RDP houses. Our people are paying rent to him. <laughs> now, you must tell me, what type of government do we have? There's others here. When I campaign, when, when you go to Terfontein, mm. our people are renting houses from Nigerians. What type of government do we have? But clearly that's a policing issue as well. No, it's a leadership issue. Uh. It's a leadership issue. If you are not leading for the police to do what's right, then you're going to have a problem. Yeah. I went with the, the MMC of Public Safety last week, Saturday, uh, to Hillbro and to uh, UV. Mm -hmm. People are renting from Nigerians. A guy said, there's a, there's a Congolese guy who comes here once a month to, to, to collect money for rent. <laughs> and at the back of that house, they're selling drugs. Sure. And you say, our government knows these hotspots. I don't really understand these South Africa people. You guys need to choose your war. Are you angry towards Nigeria because they are hardworking people and owning properties? Or you are hungry towards Nigeria because you want to take over their property. You are blaming your government for a 
you are blaming your government over in Nigeria owning a property and your citizens are renting. Is that a government issue? That I have money come to this country to invest. Is not a government issue? Okay, what do you want the government to do? You want the government to seize my property that I worked so hard for to build and give it to the South Africans? Is that what you are asking? No, let us ask, uh, let, uh, let's be honest. What do you think this man is asking his government to do indirectly? For saying Congolese, foreigners are owning properties and South Africans are renting. Did your government dash them? Did they give them those properties for free? They bought those properties, they built those properties with their sweat and money. And now you are saying your government failed you because of your inability to buy property. So what do you want? Why are you, why are you using Nigerians as an example? Why don't you just simply say, we need to start owning properties and our government need to support? Finish. Check now. That is good. Then you are bringing Nigeria into the means. Automatically, you are triggering some sense. Since when have Nigeria turned to be the white people who have taken over 80% of your land? Since when now? Since when Nigerians can't be that one? Please, Nigeria better be careful of trying to invest there because the way these people are going eh, now or tomorrow eh, they will take over your properties there they do not they do not care whether you work out for it or not just look at what somebody is saying hmm? and let's go back to our miss nigeria the miss nigeria competition is on hmm? the miss nigeria competition is on and south africans are currently dragging us again because of the venue. Because of how oh, these pictures that you are seeing online, they say, oh no, it's not beautiful enough. It's not ripe enough. It's not the right place for, for, uh, for Miss Universe, Miss Nigeria Universe to be held. That uh, South Africa are way more better. What you see them doing there is just a pre-preparation for the main event. The main event hasn't started yet. It's just a pre-preparation. That's what they are doing. Rehabilitation and education and them showcasing themselves to the old, to the to the judges. This thing the thing is not meant uh, I don't think they are hearing it yet. They are going to hear it and Nigeria will watch it. And then again, they said our guests are not beautiful enough. They were laughing at Sidima. Good and fine. Then they brought out this very beautiful queen. Represented Kwara. They said, no, she's not beautiful enough. All those kind of things. See, if you failed as South Africa to showcase your beautiful women, then allow us to showcase our own. The real Nigerian women. Not those whitewash, bleaching, white, and whatever you guys are showcasing. You guys are beautiful women with big butts. You guys refuse to give them platform. You are the Zulu girls who, who dance very ex exquisitely. But you guys refuse to give them platform. The girls that we over here around the world are always appreciating South Africa for. You guys refuse to give them platform and now we are giving our own platform you are mocking her and saying she's too fat she's not beautiful enough she's too black we are nigerians we are africa we are black if that is the sense of it all we are dark skin sorry not black we are dark skin so you want all the girls to be light slim tall straight, model-like. Is that what you want? I think we, we, we should stop eh, this narrative. Before, during many, 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 many years ago, it wasn't about how slim you were. It wasn't about how fair you were. It wasn't about how beautiful you are that makes you, that crown you in Miss country. 
It was about your intelligence. It was about how composed you are. It wasn't about your skin. Now, you guys are now coming over here laughing at our women. Where you guys failed to give platform to your own women. You discriminate your women. The women discriminate themselves over there. We are not going to discriminate our women, no. All those people who are there, they are beautiful, bold, in, 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 in their own category, in their own sense. So please, eh? We are going to support them regardless. Because they fully represent Nigeria. We have dark skins. We have light skin. We have in-between skin. We had the big bomb. We had the fat, uh, chubby ones. We had the slim ones. So that is what I call a real miss. Uh, organized miss competition that they are hosting. That is what I call it. This is a real one. Not this whitewash trying to pick point, pick point. We start looking at brains. They start looking at how slim you are. No. No, no, no. We are not going to allow you guys to come over here and make a mockery of our miss. Of our beautiful missus here. Most especially including Chidima. Yeah, we are not going to allow you. You now will cry, 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 tire. You understand? They are beautiful and bold, and they will enter that competition and may the best of the best win. If it's Chidima, oh, good and fine. If it's this woman, oh, even way more better. I would prefer this fat, chubby girl to win it over Chidima. Yeah. If it's this girl, way more better. If it's Chidima, good. But if it's this girl, way more better. You understand? So you guys will go eat yourself up. Eh? Go eat yourself up and give yourself. You, you, you do not even have a representative. Uh -uh. Look at all those Zulu big girls that will raise their leg like this. Those beautiful dance. Why? Why are you letting go of your tradition? You are whitewashing yourself. Come on, man. Somebody, somebody just got us. Somebody just have to say it to you guys. I will never go to South Africa and I'm hoping to see one white. I love all the white people, but I'm just saying. I don't even intend going to South Africa and the only thing I want to see is white people. I want to see the big bump. Yeah. Let's be honest to all the guys here. When you ever want to go to South Africa, what are you expected to see from the women? The big bump. That's what God blessed you with. Huh? I think that is the main tourist attraction in the main tourist attract, attraction in your country. The big bomb women. Yeah. Of course, there are beautiful places, but the main one that we are actually looking for as Nigerians are the big bomb. Don't get it twisted. Forget about it. Where we tell you want to see all those beautiful attractions. Yeah, I want to see there, but the main reason, I'm telling you now, the main reason is to counsel as many big bump of your women as possible. Because they are beautiful and God made them specially. In fact, God smiled upon South Africa when he was making those women. And he said, oh my God, I finished work. I finished work. But when it comes to the men, he was like, who the hell am I even making? <laughs> Who the hell am I even making with this man? <laughs> but then again, I love all my South Africa guys. Uh, big up, big respect. But this is just uh, don't come for us. If you come for us, I come for you. 